Today we are learning how to identify fractions. Let's start by identifying what fraction of this circle is shaded. Remember that a fraction has two parts. The part on top tells us how many pieces we have shaded. We can see in our circle that one, two, three pieces are shaded, so we'll write the number three above the line. Then the number on the bottom is the total number of pieces in the circle. We can count that there's one, two, three, four pieces in a full circle. So we'll write the number four below the line. Now we have our fraction three fourths. Let's practice one of these together. Let's identify what fraction of this rectangle is shaded. Remember that fractions have two pieces and the piece on top is how many pieces are shaded. How many shaded pieces do I have? You can see that there are four shaded pieces. So we'll write a four above the line. Remember that the number on the bottom is the total number of pieces in the shape. How many total pieces are in this rectangle? You can see one, two, three, four, five, six pieces make the entire rectangle. So we put the number six below the line. Now that I have my fraction, how can I read this fraction? We say this fraction as four sixths. Let's practice another one together. Let's figure out what fraction of this rectangle is shaded. Well, what number should go on top of the line? Remember the number on top of the line is how many pieces we have shaded. In this figure, we have two pieces shaded, so we'll put a number two above the line. What number should I put below the line? Well, the number below the line is the total number of pieces in my shape. Here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total pieces. So we write the number eight below the line. Now, how can I read this fraction? I read this fraction as two eighths. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What fraction of this circle is shaded? For this problem, remember the number on top of a fraction is how many pieces we have shaded. Here we can count that one, two pieces of the circle were shaded so we write the number two above the line. The number on the bottom is the total number of pieces in the circle, which here is one, two, three pieces. So our bottom number is three. This is the fraction two thirds. Now here's your last problem for this video. What fraction of this rectangle is shaded? Well, in this rectangle, we can see that three pieces are shaded. So we put that number three above the line of our fraction. Then we can count that there are one, two, three, four pieces in the whole rectangle. So we put that number four below our line. This is the fraction three fourths. Today you learned how to identify a fraction.